Okay, so Dianne Feinstein is once again trying to pass an assault weapon ban at a federal level. This would mean basically California gun laws coming to your state, regardless of what state you live in. The feds are going to say that you have to have AR-15s that look absolutely hideous. Your Glocks can't weigh over a certain amount of weight. You can't have threaded barrels. You can't have barrel shrouds, the, you know, the shoulder thing that goes up. Let's talk about whether we should be concerned, what should we be focused on in this crazy time that we do live in when it comes to gun rights. So, Dianne Feinstein in the 117th Congress is introducing the assault weapon ban. Is that something we should be concerned about? Well, I think we got to look at this this way. Right now, the Democrats have the presidency, the House, and kind of the Senate. The problem is, is when we look at it from their point of view, they are currently trying to pass all sorts of things. They couldn't pass the $15 minimum wage. They're having a hard time right now passing the universal background checks. Do I think they're going to be able to get past an assault weapon ban? Probably not. I think this is one of those things like HR 127 that we should be focused on. We should have some sort of, you know, we should keep an eye on it and we should oppose it. We should tell our Congress critters and our lizard overlords that we do want them to oppose it. But it's not necessarily something that I think is truly going to pass. We need to focus on the bigger threat, which is actually the smaller threat. I was talking with uh, Matt from Fudbusters Firearms Policy Coalition, and we kind of talked about how there's these big, massive bills that their main goal is to be the big, juicy distraction that we all focus on. And we say, hey, we got to stop HR 127. We got to do it. We got to do it. We got to stop it. And then everybody congratulates themselves when it doesn't pass. And that could distract many people from a lot of smaller infringements on our rights that could take over statewide or locally or maybe even fully federally like HR 8 and HR 1446. Those are the bills we need to focus on because right now if the Democrats cannot pass HR 8 and HR 1446, there's no chance in hell that they're passing an assault weapon ban. If they can't get Manchin and a few other Democratic senators to flip on their opinions on the filibuster in the Senate, or if they can get them to vote for the background check bills, if they can't get them to do those things, there is no chance that these more moderate Democrats are going to allow an assault weapon ban. This bill is something that we should keep an eye on. You know, we should continue to say, hey, die fi Go fuck yourself. Just, you know, we shouldn't, <laughs> we should not support this kind of behavior. And those of you in California, that it pains me because so many people still continue to vote for Dianne Feinstein. Like, even if you're a Democrat, just vote for someone fucking else. <laughs> like, just, just stop. She has been in Congress for so long. Just get her out of there, please. Can we stop with Dianne Feinstein? Dianne Feinstein has been pissing in the wind and acting like she's making something happen for a long time. Back in 94, she said, you know, if she had the vote, she'd say, yes, Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in but they don't have the votes, and right now, it doesn't seem like they have the votes to get an assault weapon ban passed. And that's ultimately why I'm not necessarily concerned about this. I don't think that you should be fearful. I don't think that we should be sounding the alarms necessarily on this bill. That's kind of why I waited a few days to talk about it. This bill, you know, I haven't even read the bill text for it because one, it's not uploaded into the 117th Congress, and two, I've read it every single year for the past three to four years. This bill is going to be a copy and paste with a few dates changed from the previous 116th Congress version. Basically, it's just going to be assault weapon ban, banning stuff by name, banning stuff by feature, banning things by characteristics that truly don't make sense. And those bills are straight up. If the background check bills don't pass, this bill will not pass. We need to still continue to fight HR 8 and HR 1446 because that will be kind of the tipping point. If we see that those bills pass, it's most likely going to mean that they can pass a whole lot of other stuff. But if they can't pass those bills, if we can oppose that hard enough, there's zero chance that they pass the assault weapon ban. And that's why I'm not concerned about Dianne Feinstein's 500th attempt at passing an assault weapon ban nationally. You guys know the drill, have fun, be safe, stay dangerous. Peace.
I'm going to be giving away to one member of the subscribe star this HS503 or 403B. It's just a hollow sun red dot. I have a couple of these. I really like them. Um, if you're a subscribe star member, link in the description. You will see the post that discusses uh, the requirements for this. Basically, I just want to see your best dad joke or your best uh, dry humor joke. And I'm going to be selecting a winner sometime this month and sending this out to you. I want to give special thanks to a few members of the subscribe star. Really, you guys do help this channel a ton. If you guys are looking to support the channel, there's a $2 tier on the subscribe star that'll give you access to the Discord. Um, at this time, I'm most likely going to be live on Twitch when this video goes live, and uh, I hope to see you guys over there. But I want to say special thanks to H. Grig, Nathan Lewis, Gobble My Ball Ammo, Iraq Vet 07, Big Sexy 82, Samuel Bandarski, Freak Party, Bane, Archer, Control Pew, Micah German, Space Potato, City Boy, Timothy Mitchell, Rogue Ranger, Jason Hernandez, Roth, Fox, Upload, Sal Ramos, aka Twisted Steel, Ferocin, Jennifer, California EDC, Tyler Smith, Jay Schindeldecker, Nathan Wangza, Bebo Works, We the People, Scott Bloss, Justin White, Thickhawk45, Tyrannical Banana, Truby666, Nut in My Pantsy, Mega Stab, Travis Para, Jacob Munoz, and my friend Mongoose. Oh, and last but certainly not least, the man with the world's longest username, and uh, this is in quotes, this is the name. Exactly how long can I make my nickname before it decides to limit me? Interesting, I'm still typing, this is pretty cool, fuck the system, and mo most importantly, fuck coleslaw. I disagree with your opinion on coleslaw, but yes, thank you everyone, I really appreciate your support.